So you say for years. Yeah. yeah. What you say the good, good, the pros and the cons of being an artist? The pros and the cons. The pros is you get a chance to share the gift that God gave you. The cons is ain't nobody going to like you. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, when, they, when I first started, I remember um, you had asked me, it's the red pill, blue pill, like the matrix. So whatever one you take, you better be ready for it. But it's a beautiful thing. I just think a lot of people underestimate rap, and they 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 they, they uh, judge rappers based off what they see as success on TV. And about when it, I don't give a fuck, I salute any rapper from the local, the underground, to the mainstream because the process. Everybody gonna go through the same process. I swear. You feel me? And it's gonna test your mental more than anything. Right. Okay, well, how about, well, keeping it on the song, you know what I'm saying, the press was showing, how about we already had um, a tap on there, we already had, yeah. so it went from you partying with him and everything, we never knew, that. I don't think he fully know, or he ain't fully, completely acknowledged that, that he know you on that song, but that's like your man's, right, talk about that relationship, yeah, yeah, having you know, a cap. Um, yeah, that's one of the good brothers right there. You feel me? Like I said, I, we departed a few times, you know. We close, we close. Uh, I've been a fan of his music for years. I grew up listening to his music, you know what I'm saying? Chicago, so it was kind of cold. It's fun because you always... One thing about rappers, they don't like... Separate reality and then when they at work. You feel me? So when you kick with some people on the personal level, you don't want to be like, hey, hey, let's get on this song. You feel me? Right. They chilling right now. So it was all love how it just came together. We didn't even talk about it. I didn't even go to tell him like, hey, shorty, I'm for the, you know what I'm saying? Jump on this swing that I know you on. Right. It just all kind of came together. I hadn't heard his verse or nothing. He told me who was on the song afterwards, and uh, I laid that joint down. You feel me? Right. And then I heard it. It was like, I kissed him like, oh, this it. Uh-huh. This it right here. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. So with uh, I don't know. So you say you've been rapping up for the folk piece. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Made the album. You one of the last features. How that feel? Being one of the man. Last you hey, almost missed that thing. So it, almost is an understatement. Uh, well, last one, I, I will. Sometimes I, I grew up in the gym class. You feel me? And I used to get picked last, but that still didn't stop me from getting in the corner, hit my three. You feel? So being on the last, it was just an honor. It was a blessing. You know that I did make it because it's a shout out to everybody that's on the album. It's a lot of dope pins that hit the board and run it on this joint. Every day it's something new I fall in love with. All right, you so shit, it being the last, I was like, damn, I felt like, you know, I just wanted to make sure I make my corner three. So when I heard it and what was required at eight, I'm like, perfect, it's me. Plus, I had probably just left the pink pony anyway. What's <laughs> 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 Yeah, the pink punk pony, man. You know, that's one of the spots. One of the spots where they bounce it for some cash. You feel me? Bounce it for some cash, yeah. So more on the song, but I like uh, uh, more backstory on the uh, story. I mean, more backstory on the song. Most people don't know that's a remake from one of my last beats produced. And um, when I initially sent it to Cap, he rapped over the old beat. Okay, so you were back in that swing all that. He rapped over the old beat. But, you know, Keon, I mean, the Sendo production, so strong and so powerful, I had to, like, nah, I ain't producing none of it. He finna produce it. But this was during the time when I didn't know he was finna turn up on the production how he did. So when he Ooh. turned the production how he did it, it was like, whoa, but well, let me just push all my beats to the side. But Black right. already had that beat. Yeah. The old beat. Okay. So the version, if he heard it, the version he hearing, he probably is probably literally new to him because he never heard that remix beat. Right, right, right. He rapped already. Shout out to the Sino too. He definitely he took me that when I heard when I heard that. It's- and originally when Nah, when I did it, and you sent it back, like, no, nah, that ain't it. Hold on. And then I'm like, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, it was so, like, third, that was like the third take, huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, and then when you sent it back with that bouncing, bouncing, I already bounced right back to the motherfucker. So 
I'm like, shut up! Yeah, he's uh, that bouncer. They don't know he's uh, that bouncer. Because I think, uh, no, because you got to show your level of expertise, your level of dedication, too, because on that, what you're saying that, like, the album been done, but yeah. you, 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 even though you got, quote unquote, just eight bars, you, you swung at that thing three times. And it's just yeah. like, on that third try, I think you got it. And then I think, I'm saying that to say, I think a lot of people would be like, oh man, he struggled with eight bars. But it's like, no, nah, it was an intro eight bars. Yeah, an intro three fucking legends on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, so, you know, <coughs> and I couldn't hear the shit they had to go off of. <laughs> So I can even know how for the okay. I'm just like sure you first in this video and then you know, some people probably want to hit this person or that person on this song. Mm-hmm. Like just do your thing. But how get all of it. Oh, people probably have the bias thinking I let you get a whole song. You know what I'm saying? Oh you yeah. Hit, what's up, what's up? You ain't hit that joint until probably it came out with everybody else. Cause I mean, that's the autonomy. I tried to make sure that the confidentiality with every artist we work with was such yeah. a so even though you chill with Cap and Cap, your brother down in Atlanta when y'all kicking it and everything, I wanted to make sure um, I don't murder the art. Like, that's personal. That's business. Right, right. That's the yeah. It was just like, nah, to me, like, we would have came across real corny talking about, yo, check this out. We did something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that ain't that's 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 Cause rarely, a lot of times when, when I will say rappers, in the, you know, when I hang with other rappers and it's not related to rap, they don't like the merge it either. Like they leave that, you know what I'm saying? Rap about the life, and mental, got down everything that happens. Like we chilling, let's chill, you know? Cause niggas right. run up to you outside, like man, you can I rap late? Like, I ain't even fine. Yeah. You know, I go here. That part. You see the bar. Uh, what, uh, what, um, what the name, what's some of the, uh, like, what, what's some of the things with your artistry? Like, what's going on with you as an artist? Like, how you, like, what well, you know, like, tell us about Wild Out Magic, the, 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 the past, present, and, and some of the future. What you got well, going on? Well, the past, you know what I'm saying? Past Wild Out Magic. I think, uh, I went through a phase where I jumped into the music. I'm a real, I'm a originally know me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I like to have good energy. I could be, you know, fill a room with a good spirit type person. I kind of jumped to in the past when I first stepped to the rap. I honestly hadn't experienced a lot of things. So I was rapping with all the uh, skill of knowing how to take stuff and make it sound good on paper without actually capping. Right. But the beauty of rapping is I actually went and did every fucking thing that I said. And someone I said I wouldn't do, but it's like you spoke it into your life, which is it kind of made me step back for a second so, and realize, like, so what you learned, you write. So, so you learn the power of the tongue. Yeah, basically, what, the words. What lesson you think you will learn with? Oh, uh, say, if it ain't the, if it ain't the simple thing of mean what you say and say what you mean, it's the thing before you speak, definitely. Like, All right, it, Proverbs eighteen twenty one to say, death and life are in power of the tongue. So, Oh, yeah. love. What's up, oh, that's a good thing that you catch it. So, I mean, so just from personal looking, it seemed like that reality made you want to not do the music no more, y'all. No cap, it did. It made me not want to. But, nigga, when I tell you the mental Water. turmoil I was in, not doing the music, it's like, it's better off. You're like, this is what I really want to do. Just and in life, you gonna have all types of bumps and little rules and shit that ain't supposed to stop you from riding. You feel me? Just because the first girl said no, don't mean you ain't trying to go get you. wait somewhere else. So you right. know what I'm saying? Well, but I had been a few talks to myself. And shout out to the people that have been in my corner supporting me on that. Show. Okay, so with that, what do you say about the people who uh, who say uh, you started too late or you? you I say that fuck. Em. You ain't God. You started too late. It's better to start than to never have started at all. So you live with every day with that ego mindset of knowing you thought you was cold enough, but you just was so cold that you gonna let me try and get out. Like, get the fuck out of here. No. You know what I'm saying? I, you started too late. It's done. It's gonna be tough on you. I will say that. I will say that. But it's something you believe. Whatever it is, music, sports, whatever. Everything do have a timetable because. As I learned, the over 25 rule is fucking true. You try to break. It's all about breaking habits. 
it don't matter, remove the, uh, the profession, but you got to be a certain way to be successful in whatever you do. And a lot of times, you haven't learned that shit as a kid or your teenage years. You definitely gonna run into some issues in whatever you're doing. Right. That, that's one thing. So yeah, but if you started too late, down mean uh, you go to the grade knowing you gave that shit your best, and that's all. That's all. If it wasn't for you, then it wasn't for you. <laughs> Nothing be said but a trap. Next. What's next? Wildlife magic. With that. Next. Wildlife magic is jumping back. You feel me? I'm, I'm planning on taking them uh, stuff back into the into the ring. You feel me? I got a couple things on my desk board. Now, some features, you feel me? On the music side, I got a couple features that I'm uh, working on. And I won't start doing, I've been thinking about lately, fucking around with the other side of the art, too. You know what I'm saying? Trying to combine my art. Like, uh, some funny, like a funny shit. You know, I have a lot of personality, so don't just limit. If you're going to be an artist, it's time to just evolve into another phase of shit, so... That's really where I'm at right now. So what you trying to kind of fade with it? Huh? What you phasing into with it? Like what you got going on when you phase it? I, I wanna do I wanna do uh, I said I was gonna start doing like the skits, you know what I'm saying, to show another side of me and and also open up some more shit in my head that I clearly locked up and the music at the same time. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's kinda like on some Tupac shit, you know, I always want recipe to the goat, you know what I'm saying, not comparing myself to him in no form, but just as far as the art, you know what I'm saying, I think if you got it in you, you shouldn't limit it to just one thing, you know, so that's what I said, I want to start doing some skits, fuck around, hit a stage, because I'm deadly with a mic regardless, so you give me that motherfucker, I'm going to do something, I'm going to shake the crowd, baby. Either we gonna dance, we gonna laugh, we gonna have a good motherfucking time before I leave out this bitch. Right. So, you know, that, that, under that energy. Another thing for the day was we had Frank Grimes on early, and like I said, we we did his interview early because uh, it's a basketball game, and I I brought it up. It was a, it's a major thing. Uh, and we still like they rapping and doing and trying to be entrepreneurs and get this money and run it up, but we're still fathers. So uh, right. I wanted to give you a moment too to talk about your son. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's going like, uh, what's uh, my son, with your son and the, the music and all of that? Like, talk about your connection with it in terms of that. Well, that was another thing that made me realize that I had to uh, get back in the ring with this music because I will say my son, when I first started rapping, he was right there on with me. You know what I'm saying? He was even in some of the first music videos that me and you did. Tote, by the way, this is on YouTube. Right. Um, so, I even got a chance to get him over a few audios, and I noticed how it was up for him, and I never paid attention to, like, how my son needed the music as well. So, when I moved to Atlanta, me and him had, we had, it broke our routine of being together every day, him seeing and being around the music. So, I came back to Chicago recently, and we was together, and you you actually, he was like, you was with us. He was, we was all together. He was like, play some music. And the dude surprised me when he started playing some of the ghosts like Kendrick, you know what I'm saying, some J.I.D.s, and he's spinning. I'm like, damn, well, shorty. He had so, a high, his level of music, his taste, just the music of the people he was picking. It was a real high level of music. Yeah, especially to be eight years old. Yeah. So I was like, damn. So me not doing it, how selfish took away from something that, that's in him as well too. He doing he doing good though, you know what I'm saying? He doing good. I actually had just talked to him earlier. So I wanna hey, what's up, while I you, you say who? Say what's what's the word? Like this page over here. Yeah. You know? yeah man. Some similar some similar through here, you know I'm in rap. Yeah. So almost <laughs> you need to be saved out, you feel me? Nah, so I don't know. Well what what I asked you what you got now. When you first got the beat, and I gave you that, I, not, I won't say last try because, I mean, you had some things going on in your personal life, of course, but it was just like, at each juncture, I was just like, nah, my man can't miss this album. Yeah, and, man, salute to you for that, too. So it's just like, on that third take, you finally did it. So bring, what, what, bring me, us, into that process, like... Oh, well, shit, that process is when I had, I was already basically going through the stages of um, pushing in out at night, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hit a stage in my, my little 
like in a little part of the journey where I was like, look, shorty, you gotta get this shit together. You feel me? This shit ain't rolling around. Like, you feel me? I, you feel me? It's like some mental crazy shit, but I'm just not by the way. But I had to have that talk with myself, like, look, nigga, you know how to do this shit? Go in there. You know you like the motherfucking fun. Right. Once I heard it, I fell in love with the mouth. So I just basically had God allow God allow me in the time and teach in my, in my life to be able to sit still. How much did them them uh them uh them menage them them, them fun <laughs> club? Yeah, it's hard enough. How much? How much, much, much them help? Them lights help? Man, it actually helped a lot. <laughs> when you, 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 you really, I said, bring us into that world. Like, would you oh, picture man. like a particular scenario? Like, you all right, look. So, I was in Miami one time, and um, mm -hmm. I was in Miami, and we out there, we chilling. You see me? I had a little jug going. So, we out there. This is really my first time out there, and we hit for a couple of Uchi. You feel me? We had a couple of dollars. So this bad little shorty came in there, you feel me? Bad, my, one of the bad little chicks I've been seeing in my little short life, leaving, leaving off the block late. So goddamn it, I had like 300 singles. And she like, shorty, she like, man, you finna throw them? I'm like, yeah. She like, man, you can just give to me and we'll do whatever we want to do. Cause I don't feel like picking all that shit up. I say, so give you this. Can you do whatever? <laughs> No count, Daddy. I say word. So that's what they, that's what helps you write your verse. <laughs> it influenced. It influenced it a lot. <laughs> no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. type of deal but you instrumental in making sure that I even get the first two interviews we did and the interviews that we got to do like you know let's go find that go. made sure that I step off that ledge because you're the social media cat you know what I'm saying I bitches just be over here I post what I do and I leave you know right so I just wanted to thank you and give you your roles on making sure that I stepped out here and did the other leg to what threats saying uh, making sure we get out and talk, you know what I'm saying? 
You know what? Yeah. That's, that's cool. That's cool, and I want to thank you too. Because what a lot of people don't know is, I want to thank you for uh, making sure that I continue to get out here and not just go into that corner. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the only city, so it ain't no motherfucking city already. Right. So you know what I'm saying? You got what they don't know too. You got a peculiar way of your tough love and you know your mentorship that you showed a lot along the way to even make it this far. To be able to do some of the stuff by myself without having to, you know what I'm saying, how you rank up or whatever. I appreciate you too. Coming back on the mountain, baby. If you know, you know. I appreciate you coming back on the mountain. So oh, you're walking again. You know what I'm saying? That by itself is crazy. The city, like Dress Serum, we, we produced a lot of good cats. Twisters, Commons, Yips, Yay. Yeah. Luke, you name it. Like, like yeah. shit. Like, a lot of them on the out. DLC. Like, a lot of people don't know uh, Creek, him and his brother, Louis Lucian, they yeah. did old gold overseas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's, that's on the album, you know what I'm saying? Sure. You got it. Sure. You know, so it, it, everybody on the album did something or do something to me where I, I felt like, man, the world need to hold no or hurt in the future. Since, like, like Benny said, like I said, since, since, now, these yeah. voices in this time now, they gonna hear together, you know what I'm saying? So the importance of that, like, and you know, I put up with a lot of ish, scientifically, all that, like, just putting the album together. We still putting up with BS, just even yeah. putting the album together. But, I mean, it's a lot of outlets. We both want to, we all want to be on the outlets, but at the end of the day, we got the same platforms to create our own outlet. And in fact, who made sure, or made, reminded my educated ass, who could forget that sometimes, that I could simply just hop on this bitch and do what we're doing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And he said, the other city quality artists, but insane range and diversity of the roster of Chicago rappers, no one. You know what, bro? I mean, that's not the brag and boast, but if you look at a heart, like a body, right? Chicago is at the heart of the country, like, like directly where the heart is. You got the you got the east you got up left arm you got Florida which left leg then you got you know what I'm saying Washington which is the right arm you know what I'm saying the right arm and then you got the right leg which, uh, which is California and Chicago right at the heart uh, yeah. and what makes me say that a map if you look at a map and look at that that heart of the city all leading in and out. So it is like it's facts, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I I agree with that. So it's just like us being the heart. I think we influence a lot, and I know we're going to continue to influence a lot of people in the world because what what, what the heart regulates to the body, blood flow, right? Yeah, yeah. We the ones that pump that blood to them. We give it the most. Frag of Bozeman, but I think we the ones that give a country a lot of their blood. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's always been my thing. I, I know we got a lot of dynamic people, um, but one thing that I want to change in, in, in Chicago, hopefully, um, not just the west side, not just the south side, not just the north side. I, I, we don't got no late. Safe. So ho hopefully, proving that, that we could, I, me and my team could put together, um, you feel me, like, 50 plus people in one album like maybe we could show and prove that we could run a show and we could do it the right way ls as lsd and actually garner some attention and some budgets to make sure we all feed our kids you know what i'm saying yeah. so display that on the album the world needs to see that i promise the world needs to see man that's cold yeah that's cold that's, that's definitely the concept of this whole album it, when you first start right on it mm -hmm. i thought it was something that you gonna put out like six months then a year and then I kinda you steady cause you're working harder by the way you steady dropping shit and dropping shit set up on it for two years a lot of people don't know we set on the album for two yeah you know, you know what I'm saying two years but spectrum just watching the game letting the, letting the songs get old seeing if they played out tweaking them if I'd have put it out in the six months you're talking about, you wouldn't have made the album. Exactly. And that, and that, ain't, that ain't it. Uh, 
Uh, can you see it? King Size say you motivated him to get yeah, love, love, big C. I love, man. Love, we, man. we got duties and we gotta stay on it. You know what I'm saying? We gotta stay on it. Yeah, we can't be right. You got the gift. It's, 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 it's the gift is threat. You the gift. You got a link with threat while you out there. Yeah, I'm still, I'm out here. 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 i am out here i am out here it's the third one, and hopefully, like I said, we can turn this thing into it where we do an actual video podcast yeah. with a set. Yeah, camp- that, you know what I'm yeah on all the set together, I see it. You feel me? I would have had to let the dance come out. I'm going to have to leave. That's cool, though. <laughs> but the, the key, I mean, we are who we are right now. Uh, yeah. God, because he know our, our hearts, even when we can't describe it. So it's just like, just stay on the treadmill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stay running. Stay, stay in tune, you know what I'm saying, and uh, what, what we got in the uh, shit. I think after that, we could go ahead and let some more of that. You got any more remarks, last remarks, anything? Uh, what can uh, you put in your face? I want to just say, I want to say, the, uh, also, you know, y'all follow me on IG Edition for Wala. You hear me? Facebook, Wala Magic, YouTube, Wala Magic. I just want to say that, uh, with God and good support, you can get far in life. Everything else, I know fear is a motherfucker. So don't ever let fear be a tool you to keep you from being as great as God made you. That's one thing I can say to anybody listening. Anybody that might be thinking you got to go for shit because you can't trust people to talk about it or whatever. Give, give it to the universe. We can kick out. That's the one. Six o'clock again. Got a surprise guest for y'all. I mean, we ain't gonna keep it no surprise. The bro, the god, the homie, Aki himself. Malik yourself will be on this thing tomorrow. So y'all make sure y'all give a little bit more time to us tomorrow. We're gonna go and check that thing out that way. GFM, Godfrey, man. Again, that verse that we went through, that we went over was uh, Matthew, Matthew 6 and 9. We salute from there. Love everybody. Jay Hope, soon, baby.